Are you tired of your old pea green PDA screen? Well, I tell you what, so are the folks at Palm. The handheld makers unveiling two new full color screened Palm pilots. Here now is Tech TV Lab analyst James Kim with a first look at the Palm M130 and the M515. Yes, this is truly a first look. Uh, Excellent. Palm just announced these two upgrades to existing uh, models. Uh, we've got two color versions here. This is the M130 from Palm. This is sort of the entry level. Uh, and, and Palm's really doing this because to diversify, to try to capture that market because they had such a poor year last year. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is the M130. It sort of follows on the coattails of the M125, right. except as I press this here, you'll notice that it's color. It's nice, huh? So this is uh, at 279 one of the uh, least expensive color screens you can get on a Palm OS or any, really, any PDA. Um, and another thing that this has that uh, really no other entry model has this has a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, so a lot of people like the, you know these Does the M125 features. have that? No, it's, the rechargeable it runs battery on, it doesn't. It runs okay. on double A's or triple A's, and uh, as you can see, the screen is nice, 65,000 colors, 16 mm -hmm. bit. Uh, it's a little smaller than this one. It's 160 by 160 uh, pixels, which isn't you know which is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the greatest. Uh, the Sony Cli has you know twice the resolution. Right. But this is you know like I said, it's an entry level model. That um, students will, will like uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people who want to replace their you know older older palms, and the 279 price point is it seems a little expensive, but for color for color it's really not. It's it's really uh, you know the closest competitor is the Visor Prism that's 299. Right. And uh, you know eight megabytes of RAM in here, uh, the two megabytes of ROM that they advertise is actually um, masked, so you can't flash upgrade it to the next OS. However, this does have the 4.1 Palm OS, which is you know, very, very nice. And there are tons of applications that it comes with. Um, also, on the side here, you'll see, and this is this is not new, but you'll see, you know, this this is a space for an, either an MMC card or an SD card. Mm -hmm. So this is where you can expand memory or add software. This is actually a, a, a suite of games. And then on the bottom, this is this sort of universal c connector. This is another way that you can expand. You know, this fits into the cradle like this. And right. this is a USB, Mac, Windows. And then you can also add different uh, devices like uh, modems and sure. you know, c connectivity solutions with this. So overall, we like this thing a lot. Um, let's move on over to this one. Oh, by the way, you can replace there, these. These, uh, these can be customizable like the 125 mm -hmm. before it. And you know, just in case you want to throw in some color, some a little, a little more some color, football, you know, teams, you know, whatever, you, know, you can really customize. And then you can get something like this to cover it. Okay. This is basically what you get right here, minus the card. Now the 515, this is an upgrade or a replacement to the M505. Mm -hmm. It was also color, but this one now has a slightly brighter screen, also 16 bits, 65,000 colors. It's anti-reflective, and they have actually added this little. Uh, uh, feature right here. You can change the brightness, low, high, etc. But um, this has 16 megabytes of, of RAM. Okay. You know, from the original 8 megabytes. So, so that's a lot of extra memory for applications. For you know, say you want to download some JPEG photos, you know, have them in your pocket, uh, Word documents, etc. And also, it like the other one, it is also uh, rechargeable on the cradle here. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's you know, nice, smooth. Thin design. Very this, sleek. Is, this has very been popular with the executive, you know, group. Right. Although more and more people are going to the sort of pocket PC, you know, more power. This is, this is an interesting model because uh, at 3.99, it seems a little pricey. Uh, but that's around around that's, what you're going to pay for a pocket PC. Yeah. No, you're probably going to pay a little more. A little more for a pocket PC. Uh, you're also, you know, these these both of them are based on 33 megahertz Dragon Ball processors. It's Palm OS 4.1, so you you know it's it's more of a, an organizer as opposed to a mini computer, which right. is what I consider a the pocket, pocket PC. PC. Computer. Um, you know, you get a whole host of applications here. Uh, supposedly a brighter screen. I personally think the screen is it, it might be a little brighter, but it's still not as good as some of the other color screens I've seen. Okay. Uh, especially the Sony Clear, which costs uh, similar to this one, 3.99. Uh, the newest Sony Clear has a, a twice as good of a screen and more resolution. And it's it's very thin and, and stylish too. So, mm -hmm. you know, people have choices out there. But um, this one is is sort of like mediocre. This one is this one we think is pretty nice because it offers color to you know anyone who really wants that color. Although it's not vital for in the Palm OS, as, as you know, it's, right. it's more of a, an organizer as opposed to like a multimedia center. But you know, both of them are expandable. Both of them have color, and uh, you know they're new. So.
So there we go. Let's go over some pros and cons. Okay. For the 130, um, expandability is always great. Um, also, this is the lowest cost color that we've seen, mm -hmm. 279. And uh, the application suite is nice. Uh, you get a couple of different things, data viz, uh, MGI photo suite, um, and uh, Avanco, etc. Palm reader. Now, the only thing that we didn't like about it so far is the, uh, the masked ROM. Um, you know, but you, right. th that's something that you know, entry-level people um, won't even bother doing, upgrading their, their, uh, their and, and may not know how to anyway. Right. So. <laughs> and l really quickly, the pros and cons for the M15. Uh, the expandability again. It's small, smooth design. A lot of people love this, this design. And the application suite again. They give you a lot of things. The cons, the color display wasn't as in impressive as we thought. And um, there are other alternatives out there that, that we prefer for the price. So All right. that's what we think. Well, then we, will, we, we can check out more, though, of course, at techlife.com. Yeah, there's, there's short reviews on this, uh, 279 399 three And I know that you folks also have up there several other reviews for the different handhelds, some yeah. of the ones you mentioned, the Sony Clio, Absolutely. and even the earlier models, which, are, which these are upgrades from, so, yeah. so we can check out all those. James, thank you very much. Absolutely. And check this out. James Kim from the labs.